Welcome to the HBP training video on calendar permissions in Outlook. In this video, I'll be showing you how to give someone access to your calendar, what types of different access to give, and how to add a new calendar from the global address list. To begin with, there are several different ways that you can grant someone access to your calendar. If you are on your calendar screen and click the Home tab at the top, then go to the Calendar Permissions button, this will open a new window which displays the current permissions over your calendar. If you click Add, this will open the address list. All you'll need to do is just search for the person that you wish to give permissions to, double click their name and then click OK. They will be added to the permissions list. Now we need to set what type of permissions they have. If you click the drop down for permission level, there are several different preset permissions here that you're able to choose from. As you change the option in the drop down menu, the permissions below that also change, so you are able to create your own custom permissions too. For example, if I want to give Sam Stones permissions to create appointments, edit the ones he's created and delete the ones he's created, I would select the relevant text boxes as shown. This is also shown as the author permission, which is one of the preset permission levels. Now that you have given the relevant permissions, the user who you gave the permissions to will need to go to their calendar window, click open calendar at the top, and then from address list. Find your name and then double click it and click OK. It may take a while to load all of the appointments, but they should start filtering through within 30 minutes or so. Now, there are other ways that we can give permissions over calendars. For example, if you'd just like to give someone access to view your calendar only without specific permissions to add or create items, click Share Calendar on the Home tab at the top of your calendar window, input the user's email address and click the drop down for details and select which detail view you'd like to give them. For example, Availability Only will show you your calendar to them as free or busy, whereas full details is the full information of the appointment in your calendar. The final way you can give someone specific permissions over your calendar is via delegate access. If you click file in the top left, then click account settings and delegate access, this will bring up a new small window. Click add and select the relevant user from your address list. Now you'll be able to give them permission over your calendar, tasks, inbox, contacts and notes. However, for this video, I will just be giving calendar permissions. We're going to select editor here so the user can read, create and modify items in your calendar. I would suggest unchecking this small box here as it will forward appointment invites that you receive to the user that you have given access to. Then all they will need to do is click open calendar from the address list and double click on your name to open your calendar with those specific permissions. And that's it for the HBP training video on calendar permissions. If you have any issues or queries, please let us know by calling 01724 400 304 or emailing itsupport at hbp-group.co.uk. Thank you.